my name is Alicia Cota. This is week five of Bio 225. Um, today's date is 6 6 2018. Um, and this lab experiment is going to be um, biochemical testing for microbial identification and carbohydrate fermentation testing. In this lab, I will um, incubate uh, S cerviceri and S epidermidis cultures in fructose, glucose, and uh, menintol broths to categorize each microbe based on metabolic properties. As you can see, I've already uh, labeled all six of my phenol red vials, which are these ones right here. Um, the number one is glucose. Um, one is going to be with the cerviceri, and then one is going to be with the um, epidermidis. Then I have the number two vials are right here. These ones um, I've already completed as well as the third tube. The second one is gonna be fructose. And then the third one is going to be menintol. So um, I'm gonna show you how to do it with the glucose. So first what I'm gonna do is take my phenol red vial and I'm gonna put it over the flame to make sure it's sterilized. Then I'm gonna grab my uh, glucose powder that has been provided by the kit, the lab kit. And I'm only gonna put half of this powder into the phenol red um, broth. So I'm gonna put half of it in. And then I'm going to sterilize the loop lid and then recap. I'm going to shake the broth until the powder is dissolved. And then I have my Durham tubes. I've soaked them in alcohol so that they're sterilized. And um, how I'm gonna insert this into the broth is the tube opening of the Durham tube has to be um, open on the, bot on the bottom of the vial. So the opening of the Durham tube is gonna be facing at the bottom. So then I'm once again gonna open the red, um, phenol red broth, sterilize the tip, the lid. Then I'm gonna insert the Durham tube and then reflame the lid close it and then uh, see how the durham tube is floating so I have to make it go to the bottom so I'm gonna invert it make sure all the air bubbles come out of the durham tube then flip it back over and it should go to the bottom okay so then next I'm gonna get my epidermitis The rest of the powder is going to be for the um, service array, so I'll leave that there. So the next step is going to be that I'm going to go ahead and sterilize the lid of my, of my culture bacteria broth, and then I'm going to sterilize the lid of my phenol red broth. Next, I'm gonna get my pipette for the epidermitis and for all the, throughout the procedure, I marked my pipette with E and S so that I could identify which pipette is for which bacteria. I'm gonna make sure that it's dry. Then I'm gonna collect four drops from the epidermitis vial. and then put it into the phenol red broth, four drops. Then this actually is gonna go into the diluted bleach because I had finished all the previous tubes, so it's all done with this bacteria. Then I'm gonna recap 
the Coulter Broth, and then I'm going to recap the Phenol Red. Okay, so then with um, the cultures, uh, bacteria, I'm going to put them uh, in the refrigerator for future experiments. Then for the phenol red broths, all have been uh, inoculated. I'm going to go ahead and place them in the incubation location for 12 hours. Um, after the 12 hours, I will observe them for carbohydrate fermentation results. And if there's no change after the incubation, I will do an additional six hours. Um, after that, I will observe each broth, noting the color of the solution and the presence of gas bubbles in the Durham tubes. A uh, fermenter with acid production will be a color of orange. A uh, fermenter with acid and gas production will be yellow and no fermentation at all, will be no color change, and it will remain red. So that concludes the experiment for today. Thank you and have a good day.